Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome back to my channel. It's Chris. Um, so today I wanted to go ahead and do um, kind of a little bit of a review, also kind of like a new testing out some stuff. Um, like I have mentioned in other, some of my other videos, I am trying, at least right now for like the beginning of this <clears throat> like YouTube journey, to try to find like affordable drugstore options, like things that are easy for people who are maybe just beginning to get into makeup. Um, that they can do and also just so that way I feel like if you're playing around and you're learning makeup You really don't want to go spend tons and tons of money on these really high-end products If you don't know what you're doing, you're not gonna wear them. So coming um, soon We are gonna unfortunately I'm sorry I am gonna have to do a high-end product one because I do have a lot of high-end products, but <clears throat> I have a few um, cool drugstore things that I'd like to show you here. I also have um, some really cool new palettes that I got from this new brand I discovered called The Balm Cosmetic, The Balm, not Balm, make sure you can understand my accent, <coughs> cosmetic company. And they've got some really great powders, some really great palettes. Um, I, there's still a lot of their stuff that I wanna go back and get. So right now we are just going to start with a clean face. I don't have anything on. <clears throat> We're gonna start going in with our primer. So what I'm going to actually do today is I'm going to use two primers. The first one I'm going in was the pore, um, Poreless Tarte Pore Filling Primer. This one I'm really just going to kind of rub it all over my face so that way I can just get that nice silky smooth texture. And the reason I'm choosing this one and doing that all over my face is because whenever I try out a new foundation, I really like to make sure that the face is really, really super, super primed. Um, I also have a new drugstore concealer that I'm going to try out as well. So I just want to make sure everything is nice and primed. And um, because I'm not actually doing a wear test on this foundation currently, <clears throat> I'm not going to go through all of my extra mattifying steps. I'm actually saving that video for when I do a full face of like glam and I don't have anything in there in particular that um, I'm trying to help you guys out with as far as, you know, finding good drugstore quality products. <clears throat> So that's just kind of my intro as we're getting started um, so that way you just kind of know what we're doing today what we have um, moving forward gosh my hair is just a hot mess maybe one of these days my hair will not be a hot mess for the videos but we're gonna let that primer dry in right now for a couple minutes and then I'm actually gonna try for <coughs> concealer the L'Oreal true match I've heard good things about it a friend of mine um, she had some so she let me borrow it so I'm gonna start my concealer how I would any other concealer and I draw it out like that same thing on the other side went for a line at our nose make a V line through it so far so far I'm noticing one to two pumps is a really good amount we're gonna get our nose I'm gonna get my damp beauty sponge again since we're trying to be affordable I'm gonna use the real technique sponge this one's a lot more affordable and as you can see it does work good it gets the job done I'm also not gonna be doing um, any contouring with dark products um, I'm just contouring highlighting and concealing with this first seal um, concealer application we're just beating that into the face and actually um, this is blending very very nicely it's got a really nice coverage on it it's very brightening um, the camera might be making it look a little brighter than, um, you know, what I'm actually seeing in my mirror. But all in all, I'm actually really liking this so far. So kudos to you, L'Oreal. Because this has great blendability. It's not caking or creasing. It's got really good coverage on it. It doesn't feel thick or... You know how sometimes you can wear makeup and it just feels like it's eating your whole face and you can feel it? I don't like to feel that way when I wear makeup. Even when I'm doing like full blown glam. Like wow, that's blended out and like can you, like look how great that looks. Kind of see from a distance. It's looking pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> so like I said, I'm not contouring because right now I just want to try out some drugstore foundation and then kind of play around with one of these palettes. Um, I am going to also part of this um, company, the Mom Cosmetics. They have a put on a lid. Put a put. See, this is why you have to edit when you, st when you stutter. When you get real live action, you get me stuttering Stanley over here. Let's try this again. Pretend it was a beep. Retake. <laughs> I'm a nerd, I know. So it's called Put a Lid on an Eyelid Primer by the Balm Cosmetics. So I'm just going to put that on my finger. 
left. I'm going to put my finger, rub it between my two fingers, and then we're going to get it on the eye. And then I'm going to take the Beauty Blender, or excuse me, Beauty Sponge. This is a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, not a Beauty Blender. It's hard for me to get out of that habit because I've used the Beauty, the actual brand Beauty Blender for so long. Okay, I'm liking that eyelid, that eyeshadow primer. Um, the only thing I will tell you I'm not liking is it's kind of not mixing with my concealer the best, so it's making me rebuff that out. So I think what I'm going to do now is move into the foundation I want to try. So I heard really good things about this. <laughs> I've um, been a fan of their company for lots of other products that they have. I have not tried their makeup in so, so long. So I'm actually kind of really excited about this. I've got really, really big high hopes for it. Like I said so far, I would give this a thumbs up. I really like this concealer. We're going to use the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. Now, the one thing I don't like about this is it doesn't have a pump or an applicator, so I'm assuming you'd have to buy that separately, so I don't like that I have to put it on the back of my hand. Um, it's very runny. You guys see that? So it's very, very thin. Um, I'm trying to see if it says what kind of coverage it has on, on it. It just says that it keeps skin's young and healthy look. All right, guys, well, we're just gonna get on in there and we're gonna see what we think of this. Now what I will do is since I'm not doing like a wear test for you guys on camera, um, I will keep this foundation on for um, a couple more hours or just however long I think it's gonna take to really see what it looks like. Like is it oxidizing? Is it making my skin super oily? Cause keep in mind, I didn't go through any of my super oily skin routines. Um, because like I said, I'm not going anywhere with this makeup look. I'm literally just doing it for you guys to test out some products. It's actually pretty late um, where I'm at. It's one of those nights where I couldn't sleep. And I thought, well, this is perfect timing. You can't sleep. So go ahead and test out some of these drugstore products that you have. That people want you to test. Because like I said, I mean, if I can find a holy grail product, like I sell, um you know, for a lot cheaper, then that's fantastic. Like I said, the one thing I will say about this Neutrogena that um, I don't like is I don't like how it doesn't have an applicator, and I'm also not digging how uh, thin and runny it is. As far as um, blending goes, it's, I mean, it's blending pretty well. Um, I wouldn't say it feels like extremely heavy on my face, but I can definitely feel that I'm wearing foundation. You know, that kind of like tight feeling you get. Like, I, I do feel that. Like, I am wearing foundation. So, I will say that. Alright, now, just because this is my routine, this is my habit, once I get everything blended in, normally I do this a couple more times. I always spray some setting spray. Um, usually this would be the second time that I spray setting spray because I'm usually trying to prevent oil and stuff right now, but right now I just want to put this over top of it because I feel like that, that way this time that I'm wearing it to see like if my oils come through or not to see if maybe this one barrier kind of helped out because um, <laughs> after we get done with this, all we're really going to do is um, do a little highlight, a little blush, um, a little bronzer. We're not uh, gonna do any contour on this today, and then we're gonna play around with um, a little bit of eyeshadow just because I'm really, really into this new brand called The Balm Cosmetics. <laughs> Remember, Balm, B-A-L-M, not Balm, like Balm, like Boom. It's Balm, like Lip Balm. Yeah, so I just wanted to play around with one of their palettes tonight and kinda just see how the pigment is on it and how everything blends. I did play around with one earlier, and I really, really loved it. So when I do the full face, like basically like get ready with me to beginning to end, um, I'm going to be including that in there. And that's the one that I was kind of talking about where I'm not going to focus on trying to find you guys products. I'm going to focus on using the products that I already know and love and that I've tested and that work out good for me. You love how I'm trying to like create this like messy hair, making it look good. Oh, something I will tell you um, that's absolutely terrible that I did try, um, not I didn't. I wasn't recording when I tried it. I just tried it. <laughs> I'm really glad that um, I didn't do one of the videos like I'm doing now. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free um, Shine Free Plus Balance Foundation Stick. 
This thing has absolutely zero coverage and it felt like I was wearing a mask on my face. It, big thumbs down. All right, so, so far with the Neutrogena one and same with that concealer, I mean, my face is looking very flawless. It's looking very smooth. My pores don't look enlarged. My fine lines aren't emphasized. Um, so, so far, so good. Um, we're, we're, we're doing pretty good here. Now, this company that I love. This right here is called Bahama Mama, and it is a bronzer slash eyeshadow slash contour, however you want to use it. I mean, the shade, it's beautiful, it's matte. I absolutely, absolutely love it. So we're gonna do like just a little bit of bronzing contour with it, because a little goes a long way with this. So I'm just gonna go in with my nice fluffy brush. This is a real, no, BH Cosmetics, this is the number four. I'm just gonna go two swipes, because I'm gonna hit it right through there. Because remember, like I said, we're not going in and doing a completely full contoured face. Give me one, two. The other side of the face. But I mean, as you can all, like you guys can already see, that beautiful definition. I just did one for the forehead. It's already giving me that nice chiseled, bronzy look. And to be honest with you, like I'm gonna be extra and add another bronzer because I really like it and I wanna show you the product, but you really, honestly with this, you can use it as a contour slash just bronzer. Like if you don't wanna, con like the way I kinda did now, you could kinda build it up a little bit. But I wanna go into their bronzer, which is the Wanted Betty, Lumini Betty Luminizer. So this is what looks on the outside with the pan on the looks like on the inside. I'm gonna take one, two, three dots of that. And this one, I'm just gonna go all over my cheeks with it. And then something I always like to test too is when I'm rubbing my brushes into the new foundation that I put on, like is it messing them up? Is it messing the foundation up? And it's not. The foundation so far, guys, is still looking um, really good in my opinion. So this might be a, this might be a good drugstore foundation. Like I said, I don't know. I know I'm gonna test it for a couple hours tonight and if I really enjoy how that test goes, um, I think I might test it out again and like actually wear it out like to work. Like do it like this Saturday um, cause I'll be serving tables Saturday at um, one of the jobs I have, two jobs. <laughs> yeah, I guess three if you count this one, but I'm not making any money off this. So this one's just more of a hobby, maybe one day a job. <laughs> But yeah, so I think I might actually, you know, give it like the run of her money and see what it does. So I'm feeling pretty bronze. I'm feeling pretty happy about it. I'm feeling pretty good about, you know, the contour and everything like that. So now we're going to um, go into our highlighter. Yes, I love highlighter. And this highlighter, y'all, this is the Mary Luminizer. They're a really cool like alternative brand and I really really like that and if you go to their website and check out their products They use chili peppers instead of stars <laughs> And literally just about everything on there has a five-star rating with some like some of them have over 2,500 reviews and then this is the highlighter looks inside. Let me show you just a little swatch on the back of my finger Oh, I almost dropped it. Oh god, I would have cried You can see that Look at that Oh, it's beautiful so we are going to just brush this all through the top. I mean, oh, bam, bam, no bam, bam. Like it's just so freaking beautiful. I mean, oh, I love it. Now, like I said, I'm not going crazy because I am just kind of doing this <clears throat> right now to play around with stuff, but I mean, you could really have some fun with that. Just gonna throw that out there. All right, time to add a little bit of blush so that way our face is completely done. And then we're gonna play around with some eyeshadows. I'm tapping this on. Cheek, my apples of my cheeks and up. 
I'm just doing one pan. There's actually a blush that I might add on top of this in one of those palettes that I wanted to try. And if I get a little too blushy, well guess what? That's okay. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to go wash my face when I get done with this video. This is um, one of their palettes I'm really excited to try. It's the Alternative Rock Face Palette number two. And inside of here, you can see we have some nice colors and then we have a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. It's called Bare, the blush is called Bare Minimum. Oh yeah, that's a really nice, pretty, subtle color. It goes really nice over top of the other blush that I put too. So I definitely don't feel over blushed. I mean, I could be a little over blushed, but it's not like as bad as I thought it was gonna be. That's a, that's a really pretty color. That would be really nice by itself. I mean, like I said, it looks fine. Over top of the other one, I'm just, as you can see, a little more, a little more blushed than us usual. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a little more bronzer. Um, we're actually going to take our butter bronzer. It smells like coconut. And maybe kind of bronze some of that pinkness out. So even though I'm not going anywhere, it's still like, that was way more pigmented than I thought it was going to be. And you can never have too much bronze. Never. All right, so I want to play around with this palette from them. It's called the Nude Eyeshadow Palette. And I think it's really cool because if you open it up, um, this is a friend of mine's, as you can see, she's like really gotten into it. Um, this isn't one of my palettes. The one I showed you earlier I owned. I also own this palette. Um, however, I don't own this one, but um, <gasps> don't mind me just dropping makeup over here. <laughs> but yeah. So with that being said, um, I'm really, she wanted me to try it out because she knew I'd like it. So, I, oh, hey, there we are in the camera. Hi. So, yeah, we are going to go in first with a transition shade. And we are going to go in with one that is called Flawless. And you will notice that I'm using a different brush than I normally do. And that is because I'm cleaning my other eyebrow brushes because one of the looks that I'm going to be doing with that new palette I got has like a really pretty purple color in it. And I didn't want, you know what I mean? I didn't want that extra product. I just wanted what I wanted. So, so far I'm absolutely loving this transition shade. I mean, guys, this is great. This is beautiful. This is again flawless is what it's called I mean there's no fallout it just I mean it, it glides on like butter I mean and look at that pigment mm. all right and then the next shade we're gonna go into is feisty it's a little more pinkier we're gonna kind of put that at the bottom and on the lid Kind of let that dark really define that crease. We're going to take the fluffy end of this brush and just kind of blend that all together. I mean, I like that and I've only used two colors. Like, wow. Let's get some shimmer in our life. Let's go for flirty. Like a purpley pink color. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, definitely would probably be better with some Fix Plus. Let's try, let's put some Fix Plus on it. Um, I mean, you, you can still see the color, just um, I feel like this particular palette, the one I used earlier, the purple glitter, I didn't need Fix Plus for. But for this nude one, for this flirty color, I definitely feel like I need some Fix Plus to get that shade on there. It 
it's just, I mean, it's as smooth as butter. You almost can't even tell you're putting it on. It's so smooth. Okay, and honestly, I'm getting, I think I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. I'm going to take this top up here called Fearless, and I'm going to do my brow bone. Kind of come up through here. We'll go back into Fearless. And then comment on here if you guys have ever heard of this makeup company, if you've been a lover and you've just been living under a rock like me. I mean, this is great color. And then for highlight, I'm going to use two different things for highlight, actually. I'm going to be super extra today. I know, me be extra with highlight? Never. So I'm going to go in here to their highlight called Fabulous for my inner corner. Oh man, that is actually, you know what? I'm not going to be extra because wow. I mean, do you see that pigment? I was not expecting that to be so dark. Oh, oh my God, it's so vibrant. Wow, that is stunning because I was going to use this loose glitter powder in there. I used it earlier today, but I mean, I don't even need anything extra. That is wow. Mind blowing. Okay, sorry. I'm trying to put my palettes up so that way. Okay, I mean, the eyes look really good. Really good, you guys. The face is still looking really good. Let's go ahead and spray some more setting spray on here and kind of seal everything in. And then now you would just really need to do mascara and brows. Um, since I am taking all of this off, I don't want to though because it looks so pretty right now. I, just, I don't want to take it off. It looks so beautiful. Like, let me get you guys. Sorry. Look how beautiful that looks. Trying to get like good angles so you can see it because it's hard when it's dark in the lighting. So yeah, from here I would just pop on some mascara, um, probably some falsies. You don't have to do falsies. I would get my brows filled in. I would do something with my lips and then we would be good to go. I oh, don't mind the hole in my wall from my crazy ex-boyfriend. This is why I'm getting a camera. <clears throat> I'm getting a desk. I'm getting some shelving and some decorations um, so that way I have things to put my light on, things to make my background look better. But I hope you guys had fun playing around with some new products today with me. Um, so far, they're getting um, a thumbs up for me. Um, kudos to you, Neutrogena, on your healthy skin liquid makeup. Kudos to you at the Balm, Cos um, the Balm Cosmetic Company because you have absolutely slayed everything that I've tried and I'm just obsessed. I cannot wait to do this other vi uh, I was gonna say Victoria, <laughs> this other video for you guys um, on my other palette with the purple look. And I'm also loving this concealer. So like I said, I'm gonna wear it for a couple hours. I will, will bleh, bleh, bleh. <clears throat> I will report back to you guys um, as, sorry, I'm looking for the remote while I'm talking. <laughs> I will report back to you guys on what I think about this as far as a couple hour wear um, on my next video that I make. And then, like I said, I do promise I will wear it Saturday or Sunday when I'm going to be really hot and sweating and running around, you know, serving tables. So, again, thank you so much for your love and support and for watching. Peace and love. Bye. Oh, sorry. We're having technical difficulties. Bye.